I am Anil Kumar sharing with you question from my student Joseph. He wants to understand how to find distance between skew lines. The question here is determine distance between the skew lines with the equation L1 R equals to minus 1 minus 3 0 plus S111 S belongs to real numbers and line 2 is r equals to minus 5 5 minus 8 plus t 1 2 5 where t belongs to real numbers let us first understand what are skew lines now skew lines are lines which are in planes which are parallel right so parallel planes so let us say these are the two parallel planes now we are talking about lines in these planes so let us say one of the line is kind of like this the other one is is kind of like this so these are the lines in in the given planes as the planes are perpendicular as the planes are perpendicular the distance between the skew lines is same as the distance between the planes right so so i hope you understand that this distance between the skew lines is the same as distance between the planes and since these lines are in parallel planes let's call this plane as pi 1 this is pi 2 since the planes are parallel they will never intersect so none of the lines will intersect now in such situation how do we find distance between the lines you can clearly see that the directions are not scalar multiples so the lines are not really parallel they still don't intersect now what we can do here is that if we cross multiply the direction of these two lines will get the normal vector right so let me translate this line here kind of like this do you see that now if I cross multiply I get a vector which is perpendicular to both the lines so that is the strategy which we are going to adopt so we'll find direction of the normal vector by cross multiplication of these two directions which is 1 1 1 cross 1 2 5 right so so let's do it with the techniques which we have learned we'll just rearrange this uh, write it as uh, let's say 1 1 1 1 starting with the center 2 then 5 1 and 2 we need to multiply with these these are positive right these are positive and those are negative so we get n as equal to 5 minus 2 the x component 1 minus 5 the y component and 2 minus 1 as the z component so we can write n as 5 minus 2 is 3 1 minus 5 is minus 4 2 minus 1 is 1 so that becomes the normal now let us find equation of plane 1 using the normal and the given point which is 1 minus 3 0 so we'll use the point p as 1 minus 3 0 to find the Cartesian equation of plane 1 so that becomes these are the coefficients right so we get 3 x minus 4 y plus z plus d equals to 0 to find d we'll substitute minus 1 minus 3 0 so what we get here is this implies substituting minus when we get minus 3 that gives us plus 12 z is 0 so that is 0 plus d equals to 0 so d is equal to uh, minus 9 right so 12 minus is plus 9 taking it on the other side right so we get the equation of the plane pi 1 the one on the top as 3x minus 4y plus z minus 9 equals to 0. 
Now once we have the Cartesian equation, we can easily find the distance of any point here with the plane, right? So now we'll consider the point given in this plane. Let's say the point given is Q. Let's, this is this is Q. We have assumed that point P on pi 1. So now we have point Q as minus 5, 5 and minus 8. So the distance D from this point to the plane, right? So this distance will be absolute value of 3 times minus 5, minus 4 times 5, plus minus 8, minus 9, absolute value, divided by the magnitude of the normal, which is 3 square plus 4 square plus 1 square, right? So that gives you uh, 3 minus 5 is minus 15, that is minus 20, and then we have minus 8 minus 9 over absolute value of 9 plus 16 plus 1. And this is, uh, let's use the calculator. We can now calculate the answer. So all this negative will turn to positive. So we have 15 plus 20 uh, plus 8 plus 9 equals to 52 over, the absolute value will be positive, right? Over square root of 9 plus 16 plus 1 which is 5.09 rather let me write this first as 26 that is better right 10 plus 26 and now let's calculate this value uh, 52 divided by uh, square root of 26 equals to approximately 10.19 can be written as 10.2 units right so that is how you can find distance between skew lines right so so i hope the steps are absolutely clear we get first we need to get these cartesian equation of the plane so first step was to find cartesian equation of the plane right that was the first step so we found cartesian equation of plane using cross product of the two direction vectors given for the lines right and then we applied the formula to find distance from a point to a plane so i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and suggestions and joseph thanks once again for this beautiful question all the best and thanks for watching